Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to attach the front wheels. What you'll need is a 6mm Allen wrench and a 17mm open end to take out your king pin bolt. I'm going to lift this front wheel up. The kingpin bolt is actually going to go right through the steering knuckle at that point. I'm going to lift the kingpin bolt out. I'm going to slide the steering knuckle into the clevis until the hole lines up. And then I'm going to put the bolt through. Underneath, where the bolt went through, I'm going to attach the nut back onto this side. I'm going to take my 17 millimeter again, hold that nut, and tighten the kingpin. And I'm going to tighten it until this feels a little resistance to move, then it's set just right. Okay? I'm now going to put on the other side. Okay, the king pin bolts are in on both sides. I feel a little resistance here to turning, so that's nice and snug. The next part is to attach the inboard rod end to the bracket that holds the inboard rod end that's attached to the head tube. Okay, this is a 12 and a 13, so I've got to take those off. There's a 12. This is very important that you put this nut in behind the bracket here and sometimes there's a little bit of paint along here that makes it tight but you can get the nut back in there and then bring your studded rod end down to this and screw it in from the front face. It'll start and that bracket back there will hold the nut in place and then I'm going to take my wrench with the 12 millimeter on there and I'm going to tighten this all the way up. Okay, that side's done. Let's do one on this side. Okay, the two front wheels are attached. The cables that go to the brake go underneath the steering linkages. All right, this way. And now you can see how this operates. Finished.